Hello, welcome to Play School. My name's Rob, and uh, we're going to look at Blender today and see how you can speed up your workflow from the from the very outset. So um, you may have looked at lots of tutorials and been uh, well, we're just mumbling there. So I might as well just get on with it. So if you don't want the default cube, some people have real beef with this, and some people will make a big joke of it. I don't know why default cube is in there to begin with, but here we go. There's a Suzanne to begin with, um, and you might say, well, why bother changing that? But there's going to be lots of other things that you can change. It's going to speed up your workflow. Think about every time you start a project, what the all the settings that you change again and again and again and again and again. So you may be somebody that wants to use cycles all the time. You may use EV. Um, I always use cycles. Um, you want to make it as realistic as possible uh, experimental features gpu just change all your settings that you're going to normally change when you start a project um uh, change default cube if you want to um to whatever you want i mean i'll just put that in there for a bit of a giggle but you could probably just start with plain or literally nothing um but you might want to set up a whole studio you might want to put your lights in here it depends on what your what your beef is what you normally um what, what you normally do beef I'll just put beef in blender. Anyway, uh, right. So to save this, let's just put Suzanne. I don't who, who named this Suzanne anyway. Um, let's put this monkey head back in here, um, and then we're going to save this as our default. So up into file down here is defaults. So you can load factory settings, and that's just going to blank everything back out again. So you're going to start off um, completely as you started when you um, loaded up Blender for the first time. That includes all your preferences. So it's not that you're just going to change the scene settings and all the rest of it. It's going to wipe all your preferences. So just be just be mindful of that. You might have lots of things in here. You can see I've got Blender Kit, awesome add-on. Um, I'll do a video about that. Um, but say you want to save this as your default. So save start up file and then it says do you want to save just a double confirmation yeah da, da, da. close it back down don't want to save the actual file itself restart blender back up da -da. and we can see we've got all these cycles here so if you wanted to change this and say you, you wanted to start with the uv editor right, I don't know, wait to start with the uv editor what would we do with the dorp sheet mom um <clears throat> Save again, yeah, close it back down, open it back up again, do double check. There we go, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, uh, blender kit. But so let's let's just do one where you go back to factory settings, and then that's it, that's how it's going to be as the complete vanilla set up with a default oh, a lovely default cube um, press n and you can see there my preferences are all buggered off um so yeah just be careful of that one but it's going to save you a lot of time because as I said, you've got that's gone back to ev all these settings that you might want to put a bloom on depth of field there there we go so a tip there for you hopefully it's going to save you some time hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial i'm going to be long-winded take things really slow because that's how i like my to see my tutorials um it's cool guys who do all the really fast stuff but i end up rewinding it like 50 times and you miss things so the two, two tutorials are going to be really slow and take the time over it try and show all the things that you might screw up or the yeah not just like a um recipe you know to follow it's like trying to explain all the little things and the reasons why i'm not going to know everything i'm not an absolute expert you know I'm, I'm learning probably like a lot of you guys but as i find things as i go along i'm just going to share them back out to the community because that's the way we all learn isn't it so uh yeah thanks for watching likey subscribey smash the um the button thing but don't smash the keyboard i'm not going to be responsible for that and um yeah see you in the next time cheers Ta -da.